G'day, welcome to Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to work out the square root of any number. Uh, fairly instantly too. I mean these don't have to be perfect squares either, okay? Uh, so I'll give you an example of this. Um, what is the square root of 87? Now this does not have a perfect square, okay? So how fast can you work this out? Okay, three seconds? Yeah, you should be able to work it out by now. Now the answer to that, by the way, was 9.33. And I'm going to show you how to work this sort of thing out really, really quickly. So if you got that, congratulations. If you didn't, oh, you lucky, lucky person. I'm going to show you right now how to do it. So just a couple of things before I start. This does require that you will have a bit of a working knowledge with perfect squares. What do I mean by that? So that you know, you know, say 6 by 6 is 36. The square root of 36 is uh, 6. Uh, you know, so, and, and just those basic ones to start off with. Um, also, this is... Fairly accurate, but not 100% accurate. And you'll see this, it gets pretty close. Um, not really, really close, but it doesn't get 100% close. Okay, so it's, a, it's, it's pretty good though. Now, the way this works is as follows. Okay, so the square root of 87. The first thing we do to work these out is we look for the perfect, the closest perfect square below 87. Okay, the, the, well, the closest perfect square root, I guess, before 87. So we're looking the square root of 81 is equal to 9. Okay, so that firm forms the whole number part of our answer. Okay, that's the first part. There's three parts to what we're going to be doing. The second part is we're going to look at the difference between these two numbers, 87 and 81. Okay, so the difference between 87 and 81 is 6. So we're going to put this as a 6. Okay, we're going to put this over. Now what we're going to do is get this number here, our whole number square, and what we're going to do is we are going to double it, 18. And that's our answer. Okay, so this is equal to 9 and 6 eighteenths, uh, 9 and a third, which is equal to, uh, we'll put this in red, 9.33. Now, how accurate is this? I'll tell you. The actual answer of the square root of 87, I um, can tell you, is in fact 9 point, um, 9.327. Okay. So look, we round up, we'd actually get 9.33. But look, it's pretty close, right? I'm pretty sure you'll agree this is really, really, you know, quite close. So you're just going to go through those steps, okay? You look for the perfect square, uh, the, you know, the square root below it. Uh, that's your whole number answer. Look for the difference, and then we're going to double that answer uh, or the, to get this part here. Okay, we'll go through another couple of these, all right? All right. So did you like that? I'll rub that out, and we'll go through... A bunch of examples. I'll tell you what, I'll go through a couple of examples and then I'll give you uh, some to do. So what about the square root of 39? Give you a couple of seconds to work that out. Yep, okay. You can even pause it if you want, but you know, see how you go. Okay, so the you'll probably know that the square root of 36 is 6. Okay. Uh, difference between these, 39 and 36 is 3. And double of 6 is 12. So our answer is 6 and 3 twelfths, which is 6 and a quarter, which is 6.25. Okay, uh, the actual answer, by the way, is 6.24. So we're not too far off. Okay, again, really, really close. How'd you go with that? Good? If you need me to slow down, you could always ask the computer, but probably the best thing you might want to do is maybe pause it. Um, or, or even replay things if you have to. I, th I think that can help a lot. Uh, okay, what about the square root of... What about the square root... I'll go an easy one, the square root of 12. Okay, uh, now the square root of 12, you should be able to work that out, because, yeah, the square root of 9 is equal to 3. Difference between 9 and 12 is 3. And the double of this 3 here is 6. So... This is 3 and 3 six, which is 3.5, which is 3.5. Now, what is the actual square root of 12? The actual square root of 12 is uh, 3.46. Okay, so we're not really that far off, are we? Okay, I'll give you a few examples uh, and see how you go. You can pause these up, um, you know, check out. This is really, really simple once you get the, a bit of a hang of it. So the couple of ones I'll get you doing is the square root of, what about 27? The square root of, we'll go a bigger one for you guys, 138. 
the square root of um, which one maybe what about 18 okay all right pause the video see how you go okay so how'd you go uh, all right we'll go through a few of these answers okay the square root of 27 so the square root of 27 the next one below this is a uh, loss out there I'll have to find that back I said pull that back very good uh, square root of this closest one is the square root of 25 okay so the square root of 25 so our answer is going to be a 5 the difference between these is 2 and double of 5 is 10 so this you're probably going to get the answer of 5.2 alright the actual answer of the square root of 20, uh, the actual answer of the square root of 27, by the way, is 5.19, okay, 196. How'd you go with that? Good. All right, I'll do this in a different colour. What about the square root of 138? Okay, I did go a bit higher this time, but 11 11s are 121, so the square root of 121. Okay, we're going to be getting 11 as our answer there. The difference between these two is 17. The double of 11 is 22. Okay, this fraction's a little bit harder. But you can sort of look at it and go, this is almost 15 out of 20. So this is almost 11.75. Okay, if you want to get it exactly, and you could really work it out, you know. But 11.77 uh, is the exact if you work this. But 11.75 is a good approximation. So, and funnily enough, 11.75 is the exact square root. So I'll put in, if you were to work out this, it would be 11. 0.77, but the exact square root is 11.75, so not bad. Okay, uh, last one, lucky last. What about the square root of 18? Okay, the one below this is the square root of, ch -ch -ch -ch, mental blank for a minute, square root of 16, which is 4. That happens, doesn't it? Um, now, the difference between these guys is 2, and a double of 4 is 8. So this is 4.25. Okay, 4.25, which is very close to the actual square root, which is the square root of 18 is 4.24. Did I do that one right? The difference between these guys. Yeah, I did do that right. Okay, I'm living in a funny little land. Okay, I'll all of a sudden second guess myself. So that's pretty easy, right? So hopefully you like this trick, and hopefully I didn't make too many mistakes. I do those occasionally, like we all do. Uh, of course, if I make mistakes, get on there, flame me, tell me off. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that trick. It's really great to uh, make a video for you guys. See you next time. See ya.